Hi, it's Desley here. Today we're just going to talk about some of the ailments under the letter W. And the first one today is worms. So there's lots of different worms. There's round worms, thread worms, hook worms, tape worms. Um, and they have various ways of getting into the body. Uh, hookworms in particular uh, come from contaminated soil. When you walk in bare feet, they can get in that way. Um, with your roundworms, you can pick them up from animals or raw meat. Um, tapeworms, uh, fleas carry tapeworms, so you can get them that way. Um, uh, anybody that has the has worms um, and they have an itchy bottom they can scratch their anus get the eggs under their fingernails and pass them on that way um, so they can contaminate food sources for instance um, so it's always good to make sure that you have proper hygiene practices that you wash your hands thoroughly after going to the toilet in particular getting into the fingernails um, and that you clean down surfaces correctly, particularly after you've handled raw meat. Um, uh, worms can be particularly problematic uh, in terms of absorbing nutrients, so you tend to get suboptimal levels of certain nutrients such as iron, B12 and folate. Um, so there are um, medical drugs that can can treat worms uh, but some of the herbs that are useful uh, are things like your wormwood, uh, black walnut uh, and cloves in particular kill the eggs. Um, eating uh, pumpkin seeds, um, lots of garlic and grapeseed extract is also very useful. Okay and the next one is Wilson's disease. Now Wilson's disease is inherited, um, you have a genetic condition where you cannot metabolise copper. Um, now if you get too much copper um, it can make you quite crazy and it can affect the brain and you can end up with neurological issues. It causes quite a lot of free radical damage in the body so you need to have lots of antioxidants like your C, E and A and lots of zinc, in fact, possibly higher levels of zinc to balance out the copper. Uh, MSM powder is also very useful because it contains sulfur, which helps clear out the copper. Uh, there are some foods that are very high in copper. Uh, some of them are things like chocolate, uh, beets, molasses and shellfish. So probably a good idea to limit those. Um, you probably need to look for other ways that copper comes into the body and one of them is your copper pipes. So uh, that's usually a good thing to, to uh, test your drinking water to see how high your copper levels are. Um, and also when you purchase multivitamins just to ensure that they don't contain any copper. Okay, and the last one is warts. Now there are different types of warts. The common old variety uh, wart you usually get in places like your arms, your legs, um, your hands, or sometimes on your face. Um, these ones, there's a few uh, natural methods that people have tried over the years. Um, you know, the sticking on the banana skin. Um, you can use garlic and keep that on it for a few days and then take it off or some other adhesive like tape to try and suffocate the um, the wart. Um, you want to prime up your immune system to help overcome warts because they're, they're due to a virus called the human papilloma virus. So you want to strengthen up your epithelial membrane linings with something like vitamin A, lots of vitamin C to prime up your immune system, uh, keeping up your um, B group vitamins um, and lots of 
uh, immune stimulant herbs like Ostragalus, um, Pordiaco, they're, they're always uh, good herbs to use. Um, there are other types like the plantar warts. Um, normally these things can get in through a, 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 a minute scratch. Um, so if you get them on the feet, they embed in. Uh, they don't normally spread, uh, but they will bleed in, uh, intensely if you cut them. Uh, so it's generally best to um, have your doctor deal with those. Uh, the other one, of course, is genital warts, um, and these are soft growths that have a cauliflower-like appearance. Um, and obviously that's through sexual intercourse. Um, they are problematic because they can cause cervical cancer and predispose you to cervical cancer in women. So it's best that you check those out with a doctor and ensure that you have regular smear tests as well. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, we're getting down to the last of the alphabet. Um, so next time I'll probably look at foods just under those last ones, X, Y and Z. Okay, thanks very much and we'll see you next time and have a good week and as per usual you know where to find me, deslylocknaturopath.com.au or go to my um, webpage or Facebook page and if you can leave me some likes. Okay, thanks very much. See ya. Bye.